Spread out in the gospel. We spread out the gospel. Israel crucified in Christ. We're crucified with Christ. Blood. The blood of God. Water and spiritually baptized in the mighty name of Jesus. The topic is subjection. See, the point is this. If you can't say, um, if God doesn't give it, see, if God gives it to you, it's in subjection unto you. If God didn't give it to you, then, you know, you could, you'll be in subjection to it. Like, um, Ahab. God didn't give Jezebel to Ahab, even though he knew, of course, he was going to mess with the, the wicked witch. But that's why Ahab became in subjection unto her. Same with, uh, you know, the woman, strange woman that Solomon, um, you know, uh, was building things for. That's the point, you understand? Same with um, the children of Israel. Right, see, they built a golden cow, so they became into subjection of the golden cow. So you become into subjection of whatever God doesn't give unto you. See, whatever God gives unto you, it's in subjection of you because you're in subjection of God, which means y'all as a whole are in subjection unto the Most High God. See, that's the point. So see, by Israel thinking, you know, they were so smart and, you know, being so wicked and being so wretched for so long, that's why they became in subjection unto Rome because, you know, because Rome is in, a, is in subjection unto God whether they realize it or not, whether they want to say it or not. Uh, see, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. So, see, when God gives you something, it's in subjection unto you because you have to follow God's rules. So you you can't say, oh, yeah, now nah, I got it, now nah, I make the rules because, remember, your, your, your subjection unto God is why he gave it to you in the first place. So, that's the point. So, see, it's, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, a thing where people think, you know, like, okay, let's let's use, use, use a let's use a carnal example, you know, carnality, you know, practicality. Yeah, let's use that. Now, money is money in subjection to you, or are you in subjection to your money? Money is is in subjection to you because you know why? You have to do the right thing with the money. You have to spend the money the way money's supposed to be spent. You understand? So it's a big difference. Like you have a child, is your child in subjection to you, or are you, are you in subjection to your child? You, know, you have to raise your child up within God's standards. So you're in subjection unto God. That child is in subjection to you. But as a whole, you are both in subjection unto God. And that goes for spouses and everything else. Right. Same with your, um, let say, same with um, if you uh, have a church. Is that church in subjection unto you? Or are you in subjection unto God and you, you just have to do what God says? But, you know, see, people had this preconceived notion, you know, that they understand everything. You know, and neither do any of us understand everything. But we can, but we all understand the fullness that's given unto us, right? So see what, <coughs> oh, pardon me, whatever you do is in subjection unto you. You're not in subjection unto it. Because if you were in subjection to it, it would be telling you what to do. So always realize. Always realize what God gives you, it's in subjection unto you because he gave it to you to nurture it, to feed it, to uh, spank it, to, you know, to whatever you had to be done to it. Because remember, he's going to do that to you as well as it, as long as you're right. Y'all are all into subjection. And that goes for anything. You see, Nebuchadnezzar wanted to fall into, sub into the subjection. He, you know, he wanted he wind, he wind up following the most high. He wanted to put it in the book itself. That he, you know, witnessed the God of Daniel, right or wrong. So that's the point. Satan himself, subjection is that God had to go to the Most High about Job. So if he went to the Most High about Job, which God just used that as an example, and it's true, but he used that as an example, how many more did he go to? Right, then uh, Satan went to um, Christ about Peter. So you, do you get it? When you're in subjection, you realize who you're in, you're in subjection unto. Everybody, everybody can't, you know, be in subjection to this and to be subjected to that. You understand? You're, 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 you, you're the, you're right. You're, you're the ruler over what God gives you. It's not the ruler over you. And it just, it just can't be, right? I don't care if a woman say, "Oh yeah, I carry this child for nine months and I push him out." Well, that's beautiful. That's what you were supposed to do. Uh, that, <laughs> that child is still in subjection to you. You're not in subjection to the child. So, your, your, um. Your duty is to raise the child, not spoil it. And spoil it means, you know, right, that's just the point. Nothing wrong with nurturing, nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, um, 
showing love to someone I'm not playing with. That's the point. That's just the point right there. Right? So whatever God restores, he didn't restore it for it to be in subject. I mean, he didn't restore it for it to be be subject over you. You had to be, you had, right. I mean, yeah, pardon me. It's in subjection unto you because God stored it for you for his glory. So you were in subjection all the time. So nobody can take the subjection where God never put it. And that's in Jesus' name. Focus and glorify God. Focus and glorify God. Peace.